Hi, I just wanted to let you all know that I'm taking a little diversion from the Eastern Sierra trip to bring you this video of the Scotty Dog Quilt Retreat that I went on just recently. I'm posting it early because other people want to see what I did. So here's the Scotty Dog Quilt Retreat, October 2022. Please enjoy. Hello, crafty travelers. It's Lonnie, heading out on another adventure. Just for a few days, I'm taking my motor home. I'm going to Fortuna, to the Bear River Casino, to the Scotty Dog Quilt Retreat. It's been over two years since I've seen many of these ladies. A few live locally, and I have seen and communicated with them. But our last retreat was in March of 2020. I'll be so glad to see a lot of these ladies that I haven't seen. To sew with them, and to laugh, and to have a great time. So I'm taking my motor home. Kelly will be meeting me there with her motor home, and we're going to park in the parking lot because they allow that as long as you're a club member. Which, and my friend Juanita is going to be staying with me also. So we're saving money on the hotel, and we are going to have a great time. So follow along, and I'll show you what we do. I am a 71-year-old woman who loves to camp and travel. Most of the time, I take my little schnauzer sneakers with me. I belong to four lady camp groups, and one I started in my area. One of the reasons we bought the Mini Winnie was so I could go more on my own, or with my lady camper groups. My channel, Crafty Traveler, isn't only about crafting, it's about being crafty smart. When traveling, camping, quilting, and doing crafts. My first stop is always Fat Quail in Laytonville, California. There is even a big place to park my RV right here at Fat Quail. Let's go inside and say hi to Debbie. Hello! I'm coming to you. I gotta say hello! Hi, how are you? I'm great! Good, good. So good to be here You're... on the way to a retreat. I know. There have been people here. All right, you. well, let me go shop. Here I am 
pulling into the driveway and up to the entrance of the Bear River Casino. You can see their roofs are very high as they allow buses and other RVs to come in to park for a few minutes. I have to go to security, fill out a form to let them know that I'm going to stay for three days. They allow club members to stay in the parking lot, no hookups, for up to three days without any charge. And here I am going back to find Kelly. They want all the RVs to park way in the back of the parking lot. And that's where I went. There's Kelly and I'm parking right next to her. Made it to Bear River Resort. We're in the back lot. There's my mini Winnie and there's Kelly's prison. And we'll be here till Sunday. Well, I made it to Bear River and I'm parked next to Kelly in the parking lot. And Juanita is here in the casino unloading her things and then she's going to come and get me so I can unload my sewing machine and chair and things I'll need for the weekend in the casino. Just had a little glass of wine and some Pringles. And as soon as she gets here in a few minutes, then we'll do our thing and go eat dinner somewhere. Stay tuned. We went to Barbecue and Barrel in Fortuna, and this was a jalapeno margarita. We all had a cocktail, we ate delicious food, and had a great time at this restaurant. Bear River Casino in Lolita, California is where the quilt retreat is. A little foggy today. Today is Friday. Bear River Casino in Lolita. And we're all in the ballroom sewing. There's some beautiful pictures of the redwoods in the lobby. I'm here at the Scotty Dog Quilt Retreat at Bear River Casino in Fortuna, California. This is the quilt that we are working on. And here is the room with all these lovely ladies, 50 sewing machines in the ballroom at Bear River Casino. And we're all sewing together. Our hostesses are Brenda Lou Scott and Liz Adams. The goal is always, especially here at the retreat, to write a pattern that is simple enough that uh, you can kind of do most of it, hopefully, by, whoops, you know. Uh, this pattern uses a very, very simple block. There are 72 of them. They, they do eventually look like they're in pairs of four, but they're kind of a take on a bare block. And we are at Fernbridge Cafe and Coffee Bar. And Juanita's saying, come on in, I'm hungry. I love the bacon. The bacon is number one. Okay. The bacon. Hello, 
you're the owner? What's your name? Kimberly. Kimberly, and you're the new owner of the cafe, right? Yes. Wonderful. Well, you have a wonderful cafe with delicious food. I recommend anybody to come in and see Kimberly at the Fernbridge Cafe and Coffee Bar. Thank you. Okay. Enjoyed your meal? Oh, we did. Thank you. Look at this bicycle. Juanita called it the Mardi Gras bicycle. It's parked right here by Stitch. Nice fabric store in Ferndale. Been here many times, but now it is under new ownership. So let's go inside and see what's different. That's what I like to hear. Hey, Rach. Hello. It's Rachel. So that means Sue's here. <laughs> oh, look at all the black and white, Juanita. Right there. Oh, yeah, you got there, too. Sail rack. Let's see a few I like. This is her classroom. It was the same classroom as the previous owner. So she's keeping it, of course. Two classes and sewing. This is Kelly Hampton, and she's the new owner of Stitch in Ferndale. So, Kelly, how you like being a quilt shop owner? I love it. Good. It's wonderful. Good. I understand you have a business background. I worked for the county for tw almost 28 years. Neat. And I was the deputy branch director of our social services department. Oh, okay. Very good. I had a responsibility of about 340 staff. And you're a quilter? I'm a quilter. I've been quilting for about 12 years now. And I um, first started my career at 15 years old in a, in a fabric shop. And so I used to sew garments and then decided I didn't want to do that anymore and um, started quilting. Okay. Well, the shop looks beautiful, Thank as you. it always does. You haven't changed a lot of the brands. No, the brands are the, still the same. I'm bringing in some of my new my flair into the shop and uh, lots of new fabrics. New fabrics coming in all the time. Cool. Very good. So everybody come to Stitch in the Village at Ferndale, California. Yes. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. First thing was to see the quilt that Brenda Lou Scott had made for Sue Simon after the house fire. Many of us donated blocks for this quilt. And, and every time I go in there, I see you guys in it. I see new names all the time. And um, you just can't imagine how much this means. So I thank you for everything from the bottom of my heart. And we'll leave it out so you guys can look and see. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't thank it you. Thank you so much, I watched a ton of different YouTube videos on different um, left center right beams. Couldn't really figure out exactly which one. We kind of just did a hybrid. I tested it with my seven nieces and nephews and then my daughter. So we had eight kids ranging from three to 17. They fought, they cried, not just the three-year-old. <laughs> they did not want to trade sometimes when they were forced to trade, but they, in the end, they all had a really good time and they all got to go home with a bunch of candy because they played with candy. So here's how it's going to work. You have two fat quarters that you brought to the table. And what you're going to do is you're going to roll a dice. It, might, it has a line on the bottom of which way that uh, hand is pointing. So you're, However it falls on the table, if it's a hand, you're going to put the line towards you and it will tell you this side or that side. What you're trying to do is get the best stuff. You're trying to get stuff from the center. 
And then what's going to happen is you might pick something good from the center, but then someone might make you trade it to them. How do I get something from the center? So we're going to roll a dice, and it's either going to land on a, a hand that way, a hand that way, that you know, or it's going, and that means you have to trade something with the person in that direction. You choose what you trade, and they will not be, they can't stop you. You, you give them something, you take something from them. But each person just rolls one dice, that's your turn. You, they don't get to choose what they give you. You're gonna take what you want from them and give them what you don't want. Does that make sense? If you roll a star, that's the pirate's booty in the center. You're going to take something from the center and bring it to yourself. Doesn't mean it's yours because someone on your left or right may take it from you and give you a piece of junk. Right. If you roll a circle, sorry, just pass your dice on. You don't get to do anything. You're gonna. You're, the person who sat at the table first and is holding the dice is gonna start the game. They're going to. We're going clockwise. The game ends when the center is empty. So you'll go. How long the game lasts depends on how you guys roll. It's a pretty quick game. Everyone will end up with two or more. Yeah, you're gonna go home with at least two things. Okay, ladies, let the dice roll as they may. Sunday morning, it's quite foggy, and there are quite a few RVers here in the parking lot Bear River Casino today. There were some more yesterday morning, and they all leave by the afternoon. For the most part, it was quite quiet. You could hear people coming in during the night. Saturday night was a little noisier. People came in and they were talking quite a bit and that was between 10 and midnight. You can hear the generators. They just ask you not to put the generators on after 10 p.m. Which after that, everything seems quiet unless somebody pulls in. Walking down to the casino for our last day of the quilt retreat. It's been a lot of fun. Good to see everybody again. And can't wait till next year.
and this is Marie Duncan, the owner of Runs with Scissors. So Marie, tell me about your little store. Where is it located? I'm located in Citrus Heights, California. Okay, and I'll put all your information in the description so people yeah. can call her or go see her store. And how long have you had the store there? In the new location going on two years, but I've been in business in the Citrus Heights area for 14 years. That's right, and she comes to retreats all the time, and she sets up our little corner store here for us. It's really wonderful. Tell me your address of your new store. 7525 Auburn Boulevard, Citrus Heights, Suite 1. And do you have a website? I do. It's runswithscissorsquiltshop.com. Okay, and people can go on there and order and you will send things? They, they can call me if they see things on there. I do not have a website set up for selling fabrics on the website, but if you see anything on my Facebook page or on the website, you can give me a call and I'm certainly happy to take your credit card over the phone and ship it to you. Okay. Thanks so much, Marie. Thank Love you. seeing you again. It's been a long time. Bye-bye. Right. Yeah. These are the nine patches for the sunshine quilts that Barb just won. How many did she win? She won, a, I, I think it's about 70. 70 blocks. 71 blocks. <laughs> They will be made into quilts for Sunshine Club, which is a quilt guild online that makes quilts for children who come out of the hospital with cleft palate surgery. She's drawing numbers for door prizes. Two and a half years long, but it really is the highlight of my every six months to come back. Ours too. Thanks, Liz. Thanks, Brenda. You're welcome. <laughs> There's Rachel's quilt. She's the first one to get it done. Beautiful. Rachel. Thank you. Beautiful. Thanks for watching all the way through. We had such a great time at the Scotty Dog Quilt Retreat. I enjoyed seeing everyone and sewing with everyone, going to the restaurants, and of course, the fabric shops. Can't wait to see everybody next year. Thanks for watching. Stay crafty, safe, creative, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. Bye now.